Frankie and Jackie show. I'm Frankie. And I'm Jackie. And today we are talking about Suicide Squad, the reboot. That we're not supposed to know that the first one with Will Smith existed. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. I forgot he even existed. It's because he's out saving the world. No, it's because it was a horrible movie and you can't really just remember anything but this. <laughs> So in this movie, the government grabs the world's supervillains, puts bombs in their necks, and sends them out on a secret mission to call them Maltese. Yep. That is all you need to know, because it is just an action-packed movie. Yep. There is a lot of gore in this movie. So much that if you don't have a strong stomach, uh, you probably shouldn't be eating popcorn and candy while watching this movie. I don't mind gore, and a lot of the times it reminded me of like Mortal Kombat X-ray fatality yes. moves. It was yes. pretty cool to see, but again, be warned. This movie centers around Idris Elba, yep. who plays Bloodsport, and he is kind of the one that's dragged in into this mess. I'm gonna call it, it's a mess. They, it is a mess. In this movie, everything just seemed to gel well. The actors gelled well together, the mm -hmm. action gelled well, the, the comedy gelled well together. I felt a lot of the characters had like a lot of good banter. Yeah, I thought it was a really good team just from the casting point of view, and then the writing of the casting of the Suicide yeah. Squad, because that's kind of what they do. They just pick all these villains, from jail, and it's like, hey, you wanna knock off some time and do some things? That like, was an eclectic bunch too, like mm -hmm. random characters I, I I didn't even know existed. I like DC and Marvel, and I can definitely say I don't know every character. So it was really cool to see some brand new ones. Right, yeah, I can tell you I never heard of Polka Dot Man. Um. <laughs> yeah. He was crazy. <laughs> he was probably one of my favorite characters, though, because you really didn't know what his superpower was until you saw his superpower, and it was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was cool. Like, there was Ratcatcher, King Shark, who is just the lovable, dumb shark that I didn't know I needed in my life. Bird. <laughs> there was Margot Robbie returning as Harley Quinn which I really liked. I liked the way that she was written in this movie. Yes. She was just badass and entertaining and independent and ditzy. <laughs> and I liked the costume choice that they went with this go round. Mm -hmm. She was fun. I liked her. There were some good characters that stole the show. Speaking of, John Cena makes a his debut in a DC movie. He does, and you know what? He fits right in. Just with like his overall aesthetic, they mm -hmm. gave him really tiny clothes to wear. <laughs> yes. And he was okay with it because he knew that he had everything to show it off. There is one scene where you see like all of John Cena's physique. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, you do. And they zoom in on it too, mm -hmm. so if you like that kind of stuff. Enjoy. <laughs> I did also like Idris's and John Cena's chemistry together because yeah. they were kind of having the same superpower. They were both mercenaries. And they hated each other. Oh, the banter. The banter was oh, all there. It was great. Yeah. It was so good. It was one of my favorite things just to watch them both on screen together because they were trying to one-up each other. Yeah. And that was like solid entertainment. He does exactly what I do, but better. I always hit my target dead center. I hit them more in the center. You can't hit something more in the center. I use smaller bullets. I mean, overall, I liked it. It had me laughing. Like, the yeah. weasel probably had me laughing the most. King shot for me. Really? Yeah, I, I love that. I found myself cackling at the weasel when they first jumped out of the plane. Another character that I kind of saw myself with was Ratcatcher, just because she was tired all the time. And she would like, yeah. pass out, but like pass out to the point that if someone was lifting her up, she wouldn't even know. Mm -hmm. And this one's got a superpower, a sleeping about one minute. Just... <sighs> So would you recommend this movie to someone? I would. It's a step up from the last movie. They've knocked it out of the park. It's been a while since they've had a win, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree with you on that. They needed this to elevate the DC Universe. So yeah, to wrap it up, it's but two yeses from us to go watch it. Um, let us know in the comments what you think about it. Are you going to check it out? If you did, what are your thoughts? We'd love to read them. I don't have nothing else to say. <laughs> cool. Well, until <laughs> next time, we'll see you soon. Bye.